Okay, for my YouTube channel, another lazy video devoted to Hollywood. I am going to devote an entire episode to Christopher Lambert, the greatest actor in human history. Now, if you're the 97% of humanity that has no idea who Christopher Lambert is, this video won't make much sense, but there's 3% of humanity who as soon, I mean as soon, you know, as soon as you mention Christopher Lambert's name, 3% of humanity will go, Oh yeah, he was great in Highlander! Princes of the Universe! Oh yeah, see, Christopher Lambert isn't a very well-known actor, but the reason why I was sprinkled into some movies in the 80s was because most Americans, even at the time, had, who the hell is Christopher Lambert? I don't know who he is. But he was a rel reliable sell, you know, in Europe. So that's why he got to be Highlander. Now, Highlander is a great movie. Where the Highlander, who's supposed to be Scottish, you know, uh, doesn't have a Scottish accent or a human-like accent of any kind. And Ramirez, who's, you know, a uh, Spaniard, who used to be Egyptian, is the closest thing to a Scotsman in the movie Highlander. Like, that movie's great, like, I gotta say, why was the Kurgan the bad guy? Oh yeah, just cause in medieval warfare, you're wearing a helmet that's the skull of an animal. Does that mean you have to be a bad guy? Now if you're wearing that helmet, the medieval battlefield, the other side's pretty, uh, probably going, holy shit, one of those guys has got an animal skull helmet. He must be a badass. Back home, guys, we're not even, we're not gonna win against Skull Hack Guy, you know, and, oh, Highlander's a great film, you know, like, oh, Princes of the Universe, you know, uh, Just Give Me the Prize, One Year of Love. I usually hate Queen, but their songs on that movie were great. Like, uh, Christopher Lambert one year, the Oscars robbed that guy. Oh, great. A great Christopher Lambert film is Greystoke, Legend of Tarzan, and you can get invested in the monkeys. They're not CGI, you know. They're men in suits, but, well, we used to be monkeys, so, you know, I hear so, it's so, yeah, more invested, but, Greystoke, he's a baby, his British noble parents take him to Africa. A gorilla kills his parents and a nice gorilla father raises him. And he shows the gorillas how it's done. Oh, but he got robbed at the Oscars. You know, you know, uh, uh, a scientist finds Tarzan, brings him back to England and he's royalty. And they try to teach the Gorilla Man how to be a stodgy British person. But it doesn't go too well. He's Tarzan, he's not meant to be in British stodgy society. But at the end of the film, oh, Greystoke finds out they captured his real Gorilla Father and have him at a zoo. And Greystoke busts his old man out of there. And they're chasing Greystoke and his old man through London, then up a tree, and then, well, he shoots Greystoke's father, and Greystoke jumps down. He holds the dead body of his true father, and he tells the British people, he was my father, and cries. Now, if you're a man and you see that, and a single tear doesn't run slowly down your cheek, then you don't have a soul. But if you shed more than one tear, the rest of us guys will say, that guy's gay. Oh yeah, Chris Lambert was a great actor. Oh yeah, 90% of humanity's probably going, who the fuck is Chris Lambert? I don't care. The 
three percent of the movie already they're going shit i need to see fortress the hunted mortal Kombat, and highlander But like, why was a Kurgan a bad guy? Oh sure, in his culture it was okay to throw unruly kids into pits with vicious dogs for entertainment. Think that guy's a perfect guy for the prize. Oh yeah, the Christopher Lambert was great as Raiden in Mortal Kombat. Who was the casting director goes, I need somebody to play a convincing Chinese god of thunder. We need Christopher Lambert for this role. He will bring Raiden to life. Oh yeah, like, in the 90s he was great in The Hunted. It's another white man's Japanese film where the white man goes to Japan and learns how to be a samurai the ninja and shows the Japanese how it's done. Japanese people that watch those films go, go fuck yourself, samurais and ninja are our thing. Why don't we make a movie where one of us goes to Europe in the Middle Ages and shows you white people how to be a knight. But Highlander 2, See, there's some stuff that's better left explained. Like, Highlander 1's great, like, holy shit, who are the immortals? Well, they're aliens from a planet called Zeist. And for some reason on the planet Zeist, McCloud is a last name. Well, the funny thing about Highlander is, apparently Christopher Lambert was a good actor. Is nearsighted as hell. Without his glasses, yeah, Mr. Magoo apparently can see better. And actors like Mario Von Peebles, Clancy Brown, and Michael Irons said, I don't want to fight the Highlander. He might miss his mark and hit me in the head with that prop sword. Oh, yeah, Christopher Lambert. He was robbed the year Greystoke came out. When he, he killed his gorilla father and he holds his father telling the stodgy British people, he was my father. Oh shit, if you're a man, you're allowed to have a single tear during a movie like that, roll down your cheek, but that's all you're allowed as a male. Any more than the rest of the guys come to your house, take your man membership card, and say your card is declined. Ugh. Oh yeah, Crystal Amber was a great movie, you know. I mean, Christopher Lambert was a great actor. Like, 95% of you men are watching this are going, Listen, I don't even know who fucking, you know, Christopher Lambert is. I'm not finding this any funny, but there's 3% of you men if they heard this go, I need Queen on my iPod, Princes of the Universe. Well, that's my bit on Christopher Lambert, but Highlander was one of the greatest movies ever made, and... Oh yeah, they robbed Christopher Lambert the year Greystoke came out. The Oscars is illegitimate.